what's up, what's up, what's up? Back on this old 91 GT. This is the car last time, if you guys have been paying attention. We did a dash harness in, extracted it from another vehicle. Got it all taped up, loomed up, tested. Everything's working. The heater core, damn, this is so old. This is the original heater core in this car. So while we're there in this amount of work, we decided to, what the hell, put another one in it. That's the original brass Ford heater core. And too bad for us getting another one brass was almost impossible, especially on a short notice. So down to the local parts star. Now we got aluminum. So I went ahead and do, doing it in place, just about to put the new heater core back in it, then put the Havoc back, Spock, box back together. And then I can put the frame of the dashboard back in place and get rid of every accessory plug up the or slide on the dash cover the actual dash shell itself and then that's gonna be a complete situation here all finished up this will be pretty cool from there the next step once everything's put back together with the dash and the havoc is pulling the fuel system apart want to drop the tank blow out the lines take a look inside the tank and see how bad it is Hopefully we can get away with just cleaning it and not having to go through another tank, but I always plan on the worst case scenario, unfortunately, when it comes to ethanol fuel. It doesn't seem to hold up too well. I do believe that that's going to be the only thing stopping us from starting the car, though. I think there's the fuel system. Everything else seems to be firing right, so I think we'll be lucky enough to get it to run. Now, thing, little things like... shifter the knob is gone so that could be a little fun to change gears with we'll have to check that cable and see what's going on there um, brakes we'll have to check the brakes but hopefully we'll have a run and driving car pretty soon we'll know here shortly I'm hoping maybe tomorrow I can have it on the lift so that we can go ahead and get the uh, fuel tank pulled out of it I'm really crossing my fingers that I can just run a couple of gallons through it or something and flush it Supposedly it ran until it was out of gas, so we'll see how uh, we'll see how that works out for us. Other than that, I think she might be ready to rock and roll her. Probably wouldn't hurt to throw an oil change at it. New heater cores. Man, I really don't like the aluminum ones, but beggars can't be choosers nowadays. Washed it up again. Every time we wash it, we flush a few hundred thousand pounds of crap off of it. Oh, no. Let's see. Got a bit of a door pin issue, but hell, most of these 30 plus year old cars do. So that's where we're at for right now. Still plugging forward on it. Still feeding the fish in the fish tank. That's normal, right? HIDs go underwater, fancy lights. So okay, I gotta get back to work now. Getting everything taken back apart, put back together. Update it in a second. Good Mustang morning to you guys. Back on this old 91 GT, we got the heater core installed. Got all the dash, dash functions tested with the new wiring harness. Everything looks legit on that. Today's job is we are going to go ahead and pull the fuel tank out which is pretty simple if you guys don't know. It's just gonna be a, a bolt there, a bolt there, can't even see it. And disconnecting all the fuel lines next to the fuel filter. Also, the fuel neck. We've already got the wiring harness disconnected because we didn't want to prematurely pump any crap into the system. So I'm going to take the tank completely out of the car, 
Then I'm going to blow the lines out. So I'm going to disconnect them in the engine bay and run some uh, carb cleaner or something through the lines and blow it with compressed air so that way I know I got clean lines. And then we're going to take a look inside that tank and see exactly what we're dealing with there. See if it's going to be something that we might be able to just dump fuel in and start up or if it's something that we're going to have to actually replace. We'll know shortly. I'm going to go ahead and pull it out, open it up, see what secrets it has waiting for us there. So, what better way to mess with a Monday than to do a fuel system on a Fox body, right? This is all we're lacking, I believe, to be able to start the car. And man, I tell you, very few things bring me as much joy as starting up a Mustang that hasn't been started in a very long time. They get neglected, they park, they sit, they deteriorate. And to see one come back from the dead just makes me happy all over the place. We've already tested all the dash functions and everything works except for the lights, which of course you could probably understand why now. Because it's an aquarium, hell of a water line here. <laughs> Might be drilling the hole in the factory. I can't believe that's a factory headlight. It's factory six piece as a matter of fact. And the car itself only had 99,000 miles on it. It's just been kind of neglected for a long time. We're going to change that. I'm going to make sure this thing definitely sees over 100,000 miles and gets back on the road real soon. Turn it into a nice driving, running and driving project for our buddy to finish off. So, that's what Monday's starting off like. Stay tuned. I'll do a shot here in just a second where we have that tank out and the fuel system cleaning. And you'll be able to see what we see. So stay tuned. Can't wait to hear this thing fire up. All right, fuel tank is out. And just as suspected, it's nasty. Nasty inside, nasty outside. I haven't taken the pump out to look at it. I'm gonna clean everything up first before I get any trash into the tank that's unnecessary, even though I think the tank's probably gonna be full of trash. I'm willing to wager at this stage that that tank and that pump and that sending unit is complete trash. But it's out of the car. So that's one step closer to it. We're gonna clean everything up now, crack it open and see what's going on in there. All right guys, finally got that gas tank down. Pulled out the pump and the sending unit to get a look inside of it and uh, it's pretty much exactly what I was expecting. Unusable. This is what happens to that ethanol gas that sits in there no matter how little or much there is. And there was still quite a bit of fuel in this tank, there still is. The tank itself is completely shot. I mean, it is nasty nasty in there so if you let your fox body sit for a shoot a year much less 13 this is what you can expect so now we need a tank the seals the pump the sending unit an entire assembly the tank itself is trash and will have to be disposed of cut up the bad gas taken care of and disposed of properly but that's where we're at I was hoping that that wouldn't be the case. Uh, story had it that this thing was ran out of fuel prior to it being sitting, but man, I gotta tell you, this thing had at least five, seven gallons of fuel still in the, in the tank, so that's what caused it to go sideways. I've heard stories about putting, filling the tank to the top, and thereby not allowing condensation and moisture to really do any damage to it. They say that if you have minimal amounts of fuel in the tank and it's left, that this is the result. I personally haven't tried it. I mean, I've pulled out full tanks of gas that, that look this bad, and I pulled out empty tanks that look this bad. So we're, uh, we're pretty much stopped right here until we figure out a tank replacement, get that sorted out. But at least we know what we're dealing with now, and we know what we need to get to make this thing run. Like I said before, I'm pretty confident that uh, replacing that tank and its components and firing the key off will probably get this car to run. But that's what's stopping us at this point. So now I'm gonna blow out the lines, and I'm gonna put this car back outside until we can figure out what we're gonna do. Everything else has been done. The heater core has been replaced. The wiring is finished for the dashboard. I am not going to put the dash shell back into the car until I can actually fire it off so that way I can ensure to double check any circuits that may or may not be, uh, you know, not firing even though I have checked them. Just luck, you know? This, I've had the best situation where I can just leave it bare and then get it running perfectly and then finish the assembly on it. But all the hard work on this is essentially finished. I'm gonna blow out those lines and hopefully with a new tank and sending unit and whatnot, this thing will fire back off. Well guys, this is the latest update, Mustang Monday. Pretty much expected like this. 
Stay tuned.